Business Archive Council of Scotland is a community. It's a community of business archivists, archivists who work with business collections and also business users. Um, it brings people together, it promotes the use of business archives for research and academic purposes. It also promotes the preservation of archives. BACS can provide advice and guidance to businesses looking to establish archives and they're a fantastic resource for that. It's great to have you know, this wide uh, selection of archives existing in Scotland which not just represents the individual industries and institutions but I guess shines a light uh, on the history of businesses in Scotland over the years. BACS is 60 years old. Um, its purpose has changed um, quite a bit over, over the last six decades. Um, I'd say now Bax is much more orientated towards um, the profession, um, to the archive profession, and to supporting the work of business archivists. Bax provides support through its annual conference, through regular newsletters, and through regular meetings that allows that business archivist community in Scotland to, to keep in touch and to, to support one another. The first effort to save business records from destruction was pioneered by a young professor, Sidney Checkland, Department of Economic History, founded in 1956-57. And that was the beginning of the great business collection, which is here in Thursday Street. And when the Business Archives Council was formed in 1960, it was dominated by academics, historians, businessmen, partners. Today it's run by a young professional archivist, so that's a big change. Surveying Officer has existed since 1977 as a post. Um, it was established uh, in response to a period of deindustrialisation in Scotland. And, um, so the role of Surveying Officer is to uh, ensure that the, the heritage relating to um, Scotland's industrial past is, is preserved. I was actually the second Surveying Officer that the, the Council had. I could follow up leads that the, my predecessor had made. Thereafter, I just wrote off to all businesses that were over a certain age. I used to spend a lot of time looking through directories to find out businesses that were over 100 years old. And then I would go and list, list the records in various conditions, usually basements and attics. Um, once I had to go and share an attic with dead mice, which is something I probably shouldn't, I would not do now, but I did then. I was so keen in those days. In the last 60 years, the landscape of business archives has changed dramatically. We've moved away from trying to select and preserve the heavy industries in the west of Scotland and now we're now looking at, for example, trying to capture the new industries such as the oil and gas industry and looking forward and not just trying to look back. For the Business Archives Council going forward, it's going to be more about promotion and about giving advice. So it's going to be much more proactive rather than reactive, which I think is what the council was doing for a, for a long time, was being more reactive. But it's going to be about proactivity going forward.